वेलकम टू एन एम ई आई सी टी साक्षत ई कंटेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एच आर डी गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑफ मार्केटिंग मैनेजमेंट द प्रोजेक्ट इज अंडर एन एम ई आई सी टी दैट इज नेशनल मिशन ऑन एजुकेशन थ्रू इंफॉर्मेशन एंड कम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर दिस मिशन अ प्रोपर बैलेंस बिटवीन कंटेंट जनरेशन research in critical areas relating to imparting of education and connectivity for integrating our knowledge with the advancement in other countries is to be attempted in order to bolster our knowledge resources to obtain and maintaining the competitive edge in the world we require a system of identification and nurturing of talent and lifelong learning knowledge modules based on personalized needs of the learner would need to be delivered to him or her at the right time with the right content interactively to take care of his or her aspirations with these objectives in mind these videos are created for the portal saksham we will learn basic marketing over here Hi, I am LL means learner. I am learner of marketing management. I learn marketing in master's class. The desire for learning marketing comes out of interest. This is very interesting topic. Marketing management is seen everywhere in the society. You see up or down, you see here and there, you can see brand names and logos and advertisements and people working in marketing area. I am very much interested in learning marketing. Let us learn marketing from Dr. J. Bedayani. He is going to teach marketing management under Sikshat E Content Development Project under National Mission on Education through Information and Communication Technology that means N M E I C T. Let us start learning. Good morning to all. Today we are going to learn product line and product mix decisions today we will talk of product line and product mix decisions talking of product line decisions product line is basically a group of products which are closely associated because they function in a similar manner are sold to the same customers uh, marketed through the same type of outlets and fall within the same price range uh, quoting example uh, we can say that hindustan unilever has different product line like laundry personal care product line length uh, product line length basically mean, means that how many products we are going to introduce in a in the in the range now uh, it is decided by the product line managers and also influenced uh, by the company policies whether they want to achieve high market uh, growth and profits uh, if you take example hamlet packard sells printer as well as computers also talking of electrolux offers like electrolux offers various goods such as refrigerator dishwashers and vacuum cleaners under the different brands in the discount middle market and premium segments in case of economy moves ups and down now talking of line stretching it is said that the company lengthen its product line beyond its current range example we can say audi in india they sell their products to upper middle class the option lies with the company to which way they want to stretch uh, it can be downside stretch it can be upside stretch or it can be both side stretch now if you talk of downside stretch when a company that is located at the upper end of the market later stretches its line downwards company generally goes for the downward stretch because they may like to have opportunity of strong sales growth to use counter attacks on competitors and when the opportunity in the current segment may be upper or middle is less at the same time company may have some risk also Uh, like they may provoke competitors to move at the higher end and dealers may not be able to handle low end products or they may get confused 
as we have talked of downward stretch, now we we'll talk of upward stretch. Upward stretch is basically when the company that is located at the lower end wants to enter uh, to the higher end. Uh, why generally company goes? Because they want to have faster growth or higher margins and simply want to position themselves better. Now at the same time there will be some risk also and risk can be they, move, they may provoke <coughs> competitors to move to the lower end. And at the same time sales force may not be able, may lack in talent and they may be lacking in training also to serve the higher end uh, in the market. Uh, say, uh, as, uh, now further, uh, there can be two way stretch also, uh, as we have already talked of downward stretch and upward stretch. Talking of two way stretch, uh, the, the, there can be when the uh, company in the middle range of the market may decide to stretch uh, their lines in the, both the directions. Uh, a good example of uh, two way stretch can be uh, Sony. Sony, especially talking of Walkman, they have. Uh, both the types of uh, range of Walkmans, like they want to uh, sell uh, their Walkmans to the higher end uh, uh, also and at the same time lower end also. Now we have uh, there is another uh, concept in product line that is line filling. Now instead of stretching, stretching both ends, company may like to add more items in the uh, present range of the line uh, for the extra profits. Uh, for the satisfying of customers, for the utilizing, utilizing excessive capacity and to keep out competitors. Earlier we were talking of product line but now we will talk of another concept that is product mix decisions. Also known as product assortment. Like uh, if you take examples organization offering tobacco, biscuits and cosmetics products. Uh, it is set of all products and items a particular seller offers for sale. Uh, its two components are product line and individual offerings and product mix can be assessed in terms of length, width, depth and consistency. Now as we said that product mix can be assessed uh, in terms of length, length means total number of items in the product mix. Uh, it can be assessed in the form of width, width can be how many product lines are there in the product mix. Uh, third factor we can assess product mix is that of depth. Depth means that how many varieties are there in that particular range uh, or we can say variants offer uh, of each product in the line that is two cents, two formulations and two adjectives. Uh, if we talk of the last term that is consistency, consistency means that uh, company is considered to be consistent uh, till so far it offers consumer for, uh, goods that perform uh, in the same manner having the same functions and they are supplied through the same distribution channel. Thank you very much for the class and watching. I have learned a lot. Did you? Have a good day from the learner.